I have a secret for you. You can now record your screen directly from Canva. Watch the episode. What is going on everyone? Ronnie here. Welcome back to the channel. Or if it's your first time, simply welcome to our channel. This is the right place for you to learn everything about Canva. Today, we have a brand new episode of What's Hot, the show where I tell you what is the latest news about Canva, latest features, latest templates, everything new about Canva. Today, I have five new features to talk about. And that's all I'm going to cover in this episode. Five new features. We are going to talk about screen share at the end of the episode. So make sure you watch until then because that is the crunchy bit. All right. So without further ado, let's jump into Canva and check out what's hot this week. The first new feature is a convenience feature for those of you who work in Canva with teams. You might have created different teams and invited different people to work with you. Well, this feature allows you to delete the teams that you no longer want or that you no longer think are relevant for your business. For example, before you had to contact Canva and ask them to delete these specific teams, but now they have added a self-serve team deletion feature. So that's what I'm going to show show you. Okay, so where do you find this feature? Very simple from your Canva homepage. Just simply head over to your bubble with your photo and just locate account setting. Once you are into the account setting, if you look at this left side menu right here at the bottom of it, you'll find this like three little dots that says manage teams. So if you click here, you will see the different teams. So I am currently part of four different teams, but only one I have created myself. So you will only be able to delete the teams that you yourself have created. So I could delete this team right here that says Ronnie's team because I am the owner of it. You can see the others, I'm not owner. So I'm not gonna delete it because I still need this team, but I wanted to show you this first feature, this convenience feature for you to easily manage your team. So again, from the homepage, you just simply have to head over to your little bubble right here with your photo and then account setting and then at the bottom here, manage team. And you can delete teams you know longer wish to have. All right, now let's talk about three features that have to do with the Canva desktop app. For those of you who don't know, Canva does have a desktop app that you can download, whether you are a Windows user or a Mac user, there is an app for you. So you can download this Canva app and use Canva, not from your web browser, directly from their app, okay? So if you head over to canva.com slash download canva.com slash download. We'll have a link in the description of the video for you. You can find this app. So if you haven't yet downloaded the app, that would be the first step. Download the app. Once you have the app, you will see in your dock for me, like I'm a Mac user. So I have a dock here with the little icon that says Canva. And so the first feature related to the desktop app is called Open Design in the Desktop App. Let me show you how that works. So where to find it? Let me quickly open a design. So from my homepage, just click on the design. I have this right here. So I am currently using Canva here in my web browser. I'm using Google Chrome, but let's say for some reason, I want to open this design in the app and work from the app. There's a quick and easy way to transition between the web browser to the app and you will find this option under the file button right here. Just open in desktop app. Okay. So just click on file and then at the bottom of this menu, you'll find open in desktop app. So I will click here and get a confirmation message the first time. Just click this box and you will see that the design will now open on the Canva app like so. All right. So now I left the browser. This is the app. And yeah, that is the first feature I want to show you an easy bridge between Canva on your browser and Canva in the Canva app. The second feature that is related to the Canva app, and I really like that Canva is adding more and more feature to its app and making it slightly different than the browser version. Maybe one day we'll see some exclusive feature coming to the app that do not exist on the browser. We are not there yet, but the good news is that new features are being added regularly to the app. The second feature I want to show you that is related to the Canva app is called new design from tab. So let me come back to my Canva app right here. I'm going to go back to the home page. Okay. And I'm going to close this design right here. So now I have closed all the tabs. I can open different tabs. So if I open this design again, then I go back to home and let's say I open another design. What you will observe is that I have different tabs here. 
and I can quickly toggle between my different tabs, just similar to what you would have on the browser experience. However, there's a new plus button here, and that is the new feature I wanted to show you. If you click here, you can start a design very quickly. You don't have to go back to the home page, and you can do so also if you're already in a design. Okay, I'm working on this design. Let's say I'm working on this one, and then I want to create another one very quickly, like for example, a, an Instagram post. Just click and select which kind of design and Canva will open that document, that specific template that I want to use directly from this plus button. So this feature is called new design from tab. And I think it's a nice little shortcut. And by all means, all the features I've been talking about today are available for both free and pro users, but some are very specific to the Canva app. So you will need to download the app. Just like I showed you, go to canva.com slash download and you can choose your operating system download the Canva app. And now the last feature that I want to talk about, which is still related to the Canva app, I will have the crunchy bit about the new screen share functionality in a second. But the last one about the Canva app is called pop out tab for multi window support. This is by far the favorite of the three features that are related to the app. So let me jump back to the app. So you see, this is where we left it. We had three different tabs with three different designs. But what if you want to work in multi window mode? I like to, when I work with my computer, I very often like to have like two windows side by side. Well, this is now possible. So if you click on any of these tabs right here, so the different designs open and right click or secondary click, you will see a one item menu that says move tab to a new window. So let's do that. And let's do that here for this other window right here. Let's say, let's close the last one. So now I have different windows. So if I do my multi window thingy here, I can see this is one of the windows and then there's the other one right here on the right. So I'm going to show you quickly here. I'm using a Mac so I can do this like side by side windows like so. Actually here, I'm going to open a new design. For example, let's say my Instagram post that I wanted to start. So why is this useful, you might ask? Well, I might be working on a project where I need to kind of go and fetch different elements from another project. So let's say for this new Instagram post, I would love to have the same phone here, but maybe with a different video. And I don't remember where I found it. So I can click here, control C, and copy this element and move to my other design and paste it. And therefore now I have this element here. You could be, for example, working on a series of thumbnails and you will have your main document here with a bunch of templates, a bunch of thumbnails and copying elements of your thumbnails. I find it very useful to be able to open two different windows with Canva, which is very difficult to do on your browser. So here it makes it super easy. You can even have three or even four windows it's up to you, but I found this feature very useful. All right, guys, I hope you are liking this episode. I'm about to drop a serious new feature on you, so make sure to stick around. But before we get there, I would like to take a second to read my favorite comment of the week. I really appreciate that you guys take the time to write us comments and lovely messages. Sometimes you have questions and we are always happy to discover them and to address them as much as we can. Like we really do our best to read all the comments and reply to everything as many as possible, but we do receive a lot. So this week, I would like to feature this comment from Shasha. And Shasha has been one of our top fans. So Shasha, if you're watching this, we really love you. We really appreciate your support, your continuous support. You have been with us since a very long time. I don't even remember, but it's probably years now that you are following us on this channel and you leave us a comment every single time. We really appreciate that. And this week you wrote us, this video has absolutely amazing content. And you were talking about the video where I review three Canva webinars that you must absolutely watch. I will leave a link to this video in the description. Or if you want to watch this video, you can click on the link right here. But she's talking about this video, absolutely amazing content. Do make more video on recommendations like this, please. I really appreciate you, Indiana, for both of your endless effort in giving knowledge in Canva, graphic design, branding, etc. I have learned a great deal from you both. You guys are absolutely amazing gurus. Thank you very much from the bottom of my heart keep it coming. Well, Shasha, thank you very much. We really appreciate this message. We will continue to keep them coming because that's what we do. We just love to do it for you guys. All right. So that was a little love moment. Thank you, Shasha, for your message. If you have message for us and they don't all have to be all love, like if you don't like us, let us know how we can maybe improve or maybe some suggestions for the channel. All right, guys. 
it is time. It is time to talk about this amazing new feature. Canva recently launched a feature that allows you to record your screen directly from Canva. It is called Screen Share. It is available for all users and it is going to change the game on how you shoot tutorial videos. It is now completely possible to shoot entire tutorials only with Canva. Okay, so let me show you where that feature is and how you can use it. Okay, let me just take a random document here. It is a Facebook post, I believe. Yes, it is. So I'm going to delete this phone with this forest. And what I want to show you is simply where to locate that feature. So you will have to head over your upload button. It is a little bit complicated to find this feature. And I won't be surprised if Canva changes the way we access the recording studio, because for the moment it is kind of buried under the uploads, but Canva needed to find the logical place for it. So right now it is here under the uploads, you'll find this button that says record yourself. And that is the one which I wouldn't be surprised changes its name for maybe something like the recording studio. But for now, record yourself, click here and you will come to this page right here. Okay, you are in a recording studio. It says exit studio. I just got in so I don't need to exit. And then you'll have three buttons here, a button for your microphone. So you can select your microphone from here, a button from your webcam. So you can also select which webcam are you going to be using. I am using here my cam link. And the last button, which looks like a person in a square is actually your screen sharing option. So if you click here you will see two things camera only and screen share if you click on screen share you will have this window where you can choose between sharing your entire screen setup that is all the windows and you will be able to toggle between the different windows or you can share specific windows or you can even share chrome tab which i'm not going to do here just going to share my entire screen okay clicking on it selecting it and then share and now you have this weird inception thing going on where you will be seeing your screen share and you can still choose which camera. So if you want your camera on and talk over your screen share, you can do it from here. You can select no camera. I'm going to select no camera. And then there is a record button. I'm going to hit that record button guys and see what happens. So then a countdown. Okay, now I'm recording. What am I recording? Well, I'm recording my screen. So because I selected my entire screen setup, I can now just pop out of this. I am now on my Canva homepage and I'm still recording, but I did a couple of bloopers at the beginning. Let's say I want to use this document right here and start my tutorials, okay? So this is Canva, I can explain. And it doesn't have to be a tutorial about Canva. You can shoot a tutorial about anything showing what you do on screen and talking. I'm recording my voice from the recording studio and just showing different things. So I'm going to add a page. I'm going to go to my elements and find something new here, something like that. Okay, insert a text box, text goes here, make that bigger. Okay, so this is just for the purpose of showing you how it works, okay? Once you're done, go back to your original tab with the studio. You can also pause the recording, which is very useful, or resume it. This is pretty useful if you want to change something on your setup. And once you're done, just click on done. It seems like Canva recorded the entire screen recording. It is now here. I'm gonna click on save and exit. And what's gonna happen is that Canva is going to process this. Okay, now I'm recording. What am I recording? Well, I'm recording. And here it is, my screen recording. It literally took two seconds for the video to load here. It is right here. So I guess now I can edit this. I have my little scissors with the clip selected, of course. Click on the scissors. I'm gonna pause because I don't need this voice. And I can try to find where my Recording starts, it starts about here. Yes, let's say here. So I'm gonna reduce my video to here, all the way here. And then at the end of it, I can also adjust the size to pretty much, yes, here. Okay, I'm good with this length. So I'm gonna click on done. And now I have my recording here. What you can also do, which is very useful, you see the, the framing is a little bit off because I'm recording two or three things at the same time here. But if you want to get rid of that bar at the top, just double click on your video and then you can reframe exactly how you want it. So for me, I'm going to make sure I keep only the can Canva interface and so it's nice and clean. I'm going to center that here, add a nice background to my page and there you go. I now have my tutorial and I'm building a new tutorial. I'm recording my screen directly.
right here that I can use in Canva. So this is for me a game changer because yeah, you can now do everything from within Canva. And then once your screen recording is recorded, it will save under your uploads under the video tab. Okay, so by default, when you click on uploads, you will get to images. But if you click on your video tab, you will see your uploaded screen recording. Okay, so one last thing I want to show you is how you can actually use that to create like full on tutorials. Well, this was a Facebook post document. So not really like, unless I want to share this tutorial on Facebook, I can do it like so, I can give it a title, but let's say I want to edit like a full fledged video. I would go back to my homepage and select a video document. Okay, so how do you do this? You just simply locate the video icon click on video and let's select a 1920 by 1080 pixel video size document. Okay, the first one. Once I'm clicking here, Canva will open a document that has a timeline. This is the new video timeline. By the way, this should be now available to all users. Canva recently got out of the beta phase. So if you click on the video icon, you should have this timeline directly in your Canva as well. Okay, so I have my timeline and I want to work with templates. Let's say I'm creating a tutorial for YouTube. I can create a first page. Okay, that would be kind of my intro, the title intro of my video. Then I will have a second page here where I want to have my screen recording that I just recorded in Canva. So for that, head over your upload button and go to the videos and you should see your screen recording here. Okay, now I'm recording. Yes, I... this is it. Okay, you can quickly adjust this to whatever you want it. Go to the end of it. And I love that Canva shows you, you see here it's white and then I go back to the black of the recording studio. I'm just trying to trim it here like so, so I don't see the end bits of the tutorial. So now I'm happy with how I trimmed it. And then at the end of this, I want to add another template for my end screen on YouTube. Okay, so this is where I will be recommending other videos to watch next and people will have a subscribe button to subscribe to the channel. And now very quickly, I have created the structure of an entire tutorial right here on Canva. I have my title, okay, workout routine. I can change that for, let's say record your screen, record your screen, extend this slightly, record your screen with Canva. Okay, you can change that and tweak, like I have a video here, I can get rid of that. And I'm just going to use this lady here, super happy and dancing because it is a great news that you can now record your screen directly in Canva, isn't it? Okay, record your screen with Canva, okay? I can add a transition in between my like intro and my screen recording. So for that, just simply click on the plus button, add transition, and I'm gonna add a dissolve. Okay, this looks good, perfect. And then similarly, at the end of this second clip, I add another transition and I will use the same one. Okay, now I have my video, it's now ready. I can click on the play button, position the time indicator at the beginning, record your screen with Canva. This is a bit too long, so I can probably reduce this as well to maybe three seconds. Let's play this again. Record your screen with Canva. Perfect, my transition. Okay, and the last thing you need to do is to adjust here. So I'm gonna adjust this like I showed you before. So I only see my Canva interface. So let's actually start the tutorial where it needs to start, which is about here. So what you can do from here as well, once you have positioned your time indicator, now I'm kind of transitioning to a video editing tutorial, but you click on the three little dots and you split, okay? And then I can delete the first bit here. And what I wanted to do is to adjust, adjust here the cropping of my screen. So I only keep the part that is of interest to me. Make sure this is centered like so. And there you go. You have your entire tutorial shot and produced in Canva. I really hope this new feature inspires you as much as it inspires me. This is a game changer. We can now record our screens with Canva. Possibilities are endless. And that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you for watching until the end. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. And I will see you in the next video.